Okay, slight change of plan. Ella needs to stay home because she's not feeling very well. So we're just going to have a boys weekend this weekend. We're off to Hereford um, to see some other YouTube creators, um, people that we've been watching and taking inspiration from. So we're looking forward to meeting them and learning a bit more about them. James, are you looking forward to it? Yeah. It's right next to a river, so hopefully we should be able to get out on the in, on our inflatable canoe, maybe do some bike riding and explore Hereford. Cool. Excited. Boys weekend. Let's go. So we're here. Uh, it took about um, two and a half hours to get here. Um, it's a beautiful evening, really sunny. We'll show you around in a bit. Um, Steve from the Roaming Radford showed us uh, to our spot. He's been here all day uh, helping people settle in, which is great. Uh, we got given a few stickers. Yeah. Um, James, you got those? Yeah, I got them. So um, we got some special camp so, creator right. stickers with a QR code, which takes you straight to the 2.4 in a van channel, and, and also camp uh, just a camp creator uh, sticker too. So we're going to go and get set up, put the awning out, get some chairs out. I could do with some food because I haven't eaten. Unlike I'm you. Just, I'm still hungry. Yeah, I thought you might be. And then we'll have a bit of an explore and show you around. So where are we, James? Uh, we're, <laughs> we're at the Broad Street Pizza Works in uh, Hereford. You've ordered your second dinner. Would that be fair to say? Uh, the, the, no. No? You've not ordered your second dinner. No, I've ordered. I've ordered a snack. A snack. And what is your snack? Kids fish and chips. Fish and chips, yeah, that's your snack. Your mummy would not be impressed, I don't think. Right, just so mummy doesn't kill me, it's not huge, right? It's not huge. And my pulled pork spicy pizza. It's come square. I have legs but no arms. Top but no bottom. <laughs> what am I? I don't know. I still don't know. Um, a camera? No, that's just because I've got a camera <laughs> in front of you. I'm gonna have to speed this up, by the way. Um, the table. Table. Tabletop. The table has legs. No, that was kind of like a chair. No, but it's not a chair because a chair does not have a top. morning um so we had a good night last night you had a bit of a late night last night didn't you yeah yeah 11ish uh, 11ish 11 11 yeah uh if mummy watches this oh it's about half past seven something like that yeah yeah definitely yeah definitely uh and you got to sit in a porsche owned by wandering birds thank you very much uh, mr wandering bird for that did you have fun you enjoyed that 
Yeah, it's really fun. Yeah. Um, and then after James went to bed, I had a few drinks uh, with Wandering Birds and, um, and with Steve Radford and a few others, which was really great. Nice to hear about their experiences traveling. Um, turns out that um, uh, Wandering Bird and, uh, and we used to live very close to each other, which is, uh, it means it's a very small world. So this morning um, we've had breakfast <coughs> um, and uh, we are going to go out on the river on our inflatable canoe, so we need to pump that up. Oh god. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Pumping <laughs> it off is really hard. It's really hard? It's a two person job. Okay, now, well, four. okay. Well, it is a two person job, yes, because there's only two of us, but that's the way of it. So we're going to see if we can get that done and then go for a float and have some lunch on the river. That's our plan. Can we just hire a canoe? No, we can't just hire canoes. We've got an inflatable canoe. Stop being lazy. <laughs> Good, well, I'm excited about it. Turns out he's lazy. <laughs> Okay, so we floated what I thought was upstream, but turned out not to be. So left out of the campsite, and hopefully you can see this bridge behind me. I would not recommend going past that bridge because it got very fast and very quickly, and turning around into the water was really, really tough. Um, so yeah, I got a little hairy. So we're gonna go back the other way and see what we can see that way. Not bad spots for lunch? No, no. So we're going to go for a little walk around Hereford to see what we can see. James also wants to go to Sports Direct and get some goalie, goalie gloves. gloves. and a cricket ball. Oh, and a cricket ball, cool. Um, James has pretty much spent the whole day uh, shooting uh, your, your new friends. Uh, George from the Roman Radfords and who's your other friend? Uh, Zach. Zach, cool. Um, so it's been a, a bit more of a chilled out morning after a fairly late night last night. 11. 11 o'clock, James says. Although if uh, James's mummy's watching this, it's like 7 o'clock. 7.30? 7.30 maybe, yeah. All right. So this is the Cathedral of Hereford, which makes it a city. Mapa Mundi is a map of the world and heaven as they were understood in the Middle Ages. Today we seek to know more about other countries, other continents, other planets and other galaxies. We record our findings in journals, books, TV programs, maps and on the internet. In 1300 people were just as curious as us. Medieval scholars sought to acquire and convey knowledge and they looked for ways to record and represent the world they saw around them. A tradition of circular diagrams or maps containing the places, creatures and peoples of the world grew up. Some of these, like the Hereford map, also conveyed ideas about medieval Christianity. 
they place the history, culture and geography of the known inhabited parts of the world in relationship to God. So this was made in the year 800 and it contains the first four books of the New Testament of the Bible. It is a little bit like the restricted section in Harry Potter, isn't it? But they're all chained books so that you can't pinch them. <laughs> but they're really, really old. It's a seal. It's a seal from a, from a book. That was, that was really interesting. What did you like most? Uh, probably the how old the book was. Uh, 1,200 1, years, years old book. That's an old book. That is a very old book. It was book. in Latin, I think. Possibly, I think so. I don't know Latin yet. <laughs> So I am 37, 37, no I'm not 38, I'm 37. <laughs> so I'm 37 years old and I have never made a small. A small. A small. A small. There's no F on the end. It's a small. Oh no, it's a small. <laughs> okay, I've never made a small, so James is going to teach me. I'm nine he's, years old. Because he is a man of the world and knows these things. Go <laughs> on James, show me. First you get a fork or something spiky, then you put a marshmallow on it, start roasting it. <laughs> I've seen people like properly burn marshmallows and you stick them in a fire. But... Yeah, you don't want to burn them. Oh, a bit just chipped off. Your marshmallow. Yeah, James, is yours starting to go? Oh, yes. Oh, good. look at that. Yeah, you just Wait, burned is that a bit. Just, that getting that might just That might just be a bit of charcoal. It's fine, it's still good. Yeah, I've. No, 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 don't wipe it on your shirt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, honestly, it's Should not I a problem. Just take it off. You don't even need to. Okay. It's fine. Yeah. What you want to do is get it there. Yeah, so you just. But try and keep turning it, otherwise, you'll burn one side and it will. James, keep turning it. Put that on top. This is really that's cool. um. That, that, yeah, that's a small. Show me. Uh, oh wow, that's messy. That should be small. I think is that a small? Is it cooked enough? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Very good. So squish it. Oh my god! And then you eat it. I, I eat it. <laughs> what really? <laughs> oh, that's squishy. Yeah, I know. Right, I'm gonna put that down. Yeah. I've okay. never ever had a small. I've never made these. I've never eat. toasted a marshmallow. That's crazy. Taste it. It's gonna be blown. Nice. <laughs> You're lying. <laughs> <laughs> Who created this? <laughs> Did you create it? No, surely not. <laughs> no, James didn't. I don't think I would. I think they've been going around for a long time. Yeah. Good? Out of five? Thank Cubs five. Yeah. No, ten. Ten out of five. Not bad. Okay, so we are ready to go. Um, had a great time. Big lesson learned. Make sure you tidy up most of the stuff outside the night before because I am baking in like 25 degree weather having put everything out uh, back away. So big lesson learned there. James, did you have a good time? Yeah. What did you enjoy most? Uh, making friends. Anyone in particular? Uh, yeah, uh, I can't remember. George and Zach. George and Zach, good. Yeah, James has spent most of the weekend shooting people with Nerf guns or playing football. Yeah. Is that fair to say? Yeah. Yeah, good. Uh, yeah, we had a really great time. Um, hopefully there'll be another one next year. 
um, because we made loads of great friends and uh, yeah, been been a fantastic time. See you soon, see you on the next one. And whilst I remember, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe because it really helps the channel. Um, so do that now, thanks. Thank you.